Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Let's Play Soma. We're in the crew quarters here at Theta, and I'm just kind of wandering around looking for where I need to go, and I keep seeing these Carthage logos, and it's making me curious about why they chose Carthage. Like, I know about the Punic Wars, but I don't know enough about the Carthaginians to understand if there's any foreshadowing going on here. Also, we're in Mark's room. Dear friends, when you read this, I will have entered the Ark as I've explained this is accomplished by ceasing to live as your scan is being completed. Do not frighten Catherine. I'll do this by secretly folding cyanide salts into chewing gum and placing it in my mouth before seeing her. When I hear her announce completion, I'll bite down, quickly causing my own demise. When you discover the truth behind my death, know there's no tragedy to mourn, for I am victorious. I advise you all to do the same and join me inside the Ark. Sincerely, Mark Sarang. Right, Mark is the one who goaded everyone into committing suicide right after their scans. So that's the continuity thing that the uh, the security officer was talking about. Mark Sarang's continuity. And this is a classified message from Carthage. Mr. Sarang, the company is very pleased to hear of your success making the WAU a station-wide presence. Uh, Dr. Johan Ross must be able to steer and study the WAU from Alpha without interference. Julia Daw Omicron can forcefully eliminate any opposition. Try not to. WAU is an important, costly affair, and we hope to follow steady development. Ah, uh, yeah, I think I see where this is going. The Nature of Identity. What a perfect book to have around in this game. Questions about the self. Yeah. Ah, oh, man. So that's probably where Sarang got his whole continuity idea from. I kept seeing the Carthage logo around, and I figured that they might be important, but now I'm kind of starting to see why that might be. Um, I think it's it's for two reasons. One, Carthage was wiped out at the end of the Third Punic War and later refounded by uh, Rome. So, I don't know if they're using that as, like, maybe a metaphor for the rise and fall of Pathos 2. Which actually begs the question of whatever happened to Pathos 1. And the other thing I was just about to say before I read that, I hope this isn't going to turn into, like, a Wayland yutani thing with Carthage Industries, but it looks like it's going that way. Um, the game's generally been pretty thoughtful. And even when dealing with cliché territory, it's it's kind of found a fresh take on that stuff, or a way to subvert the cliché, so... I hope... I, I'm giving it the benefit of the doubt that it's not going to be that kind of bland, corporate... conspiracy kind of story, but... Who knows? We're all dying anyway, I'm all in. I put my faith in Srang and the continuity. Oh, man... Well, we kind of already knew that. Everyone was committing suicide in mass. Oh, shit. That's a hell of an image. Shit. Shit. That's no good. Martin Fisher is a name I don't recognize, so I'm kind of surprised we can go into his room. At least the name doesn't ring a bell. That metal groaning sound. Oh, it's dripping with structure gel. What the hell are you doing? I know it looks bad, but it makes me feel a lot better. Helps me focus. That's... Uh, I mean, that's the wow you're hooking up to. Whoa! I need it, okay? I wouldn't have made it this far without it. <sighs> Let's just keep going. She actually comments on it! I didn't expect... Uh, I knew this was bad news. No, is it coming from... That's gotta be Acres. Or a proxy? Are they one and the same? Is the proxy that was being described earlier from the, uh, the data buffer? Is that Acres? Oh, shit. So it's gotta be able to get to me from this right side, or I have to be able to get to it. Yeah, here we go. No, no way down. I know there's a basement level. 
because the uh, the terminals in the lab kept telling me to reset the router in the basement. Or the basement vault? Vault? Something like that? Well, shit. So it can't get to me through any route that I know of. How do I get to it? Because I'm going to have to meet up with the proxy or acres or whatever that is sooner or later. It's a elevator chat that's totally defunct. And I think I've combed over all the rooms here in the crew quarters that are unlocked. Man, we just got a wealth of information. Really, really big info dump. Can I... Oh, yeah, I haven't tried this trick yet. Nah, that's, uh... It seems like only when you see a, a noticeable crack in the glass you can shatter it like that. So, what do we still have to do? Hmm. I'm a bit stuck. I completely forgot there was another door out here. Spent like the past five minutes just retreading on the ground. Yeah, we has escalated. Holy fuck. And we got the surveillance cameras, so whatever's down here knows I'm coming because of the WAU. This is deeply, deeply unpleasant. <sighs> what happened? Oh, the stairs were broken, so I'm locked into this path. Am I, though? How would I get back up? Oh, I can just climb if I need to. That's really weird. I guess it's just the game's way of telling you, or like, it, I guess it's just level design telling you... Shit. Telling you that you're on the right track and not to back off now. Okay, this is just a really, really horrific looking dead end. Alright. That's great. So we have two more doors. Mmm. I don't know if I like the look of that room. I don't know if that's the room I want to start this adventure on. Mmm, that's... that's... That's a much more unpleasant room. Actually, I don't know which of these two rooms I find more upsetting. Oh, it was definitely this one. This is definitely the more upsetting room. Oh, I hear you. They did say proxies before. Again, coming from the Dark Descent, I'm really surprised by the enemy variety. Also, the really pretty lighting. That's... Oh, shit. Oh, it's so alive. It's wheezing. And Simon doesn't like looking at it. Understandably. Alright, I'm gonna carry this around with me. Because I'm pretty sure if I remember right, this thing is blind. Ah! Tapped into the wall. It's blind, but it has an acute sense of hearing. Did it hear me tap the thing against the wall? Fuck! Wow, that moves way quicker and jerkier than I thought. It looks kind of like a lying figure. It also doesn't look anything like the kind of burn-up looking xenomorph from upstairs. Oh, shit. From upstairs, they look totally different. That one had arms, the one that was upstairs. Oh, I hate the sounds that it's making. Okay, is it like the Dark Descent monsters? No, it doesn't. Maybe? I can't tell if it's just being really erratic or not. 
or if it really, really hates being looked at. I should be able to have my flashlight on. So, God almighty, don't get closer. Oh, my friend, what is going on with you? Did you see its face? Like, did you look at it? It had a, a screaming face, which I guess was the last emotion or that this thing felt or expressed before being converted into that. I need to get around him, though. Like, I'm clearly in a dead end. Doesn't really seem to care that much. Maybe... What we've established is that it's not like the Dark Descent, where if I look at it long enough, it will come towards me. It will not do that. Yeah. Bunch of papers? That won't make much noise. I just needed to, to get really curious about something. No! That's not me. That's so hideous. Oh, I just had a horrible realization. We've been underwater, so I've been seeing all this stuff is like barnacle encrusted, but they're tumors. This is the end result of pumping yourself full of structure gel. It's toxic. It's carcinogenic. So I'm, I'm, I'm still a little unclear on what the purpose of the structure gel is, though. Like, I'm assuming it was used to repair the robots, but what exactly is it? Because the WAU's been pumping it into people and using it to control the machines. Oh, this is going to start making noise, isn't it? Fuck, I just ran into stuff that I'm sure it heard. Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, it's curious. But, like, what I'm wondering is, how does the WAU use it to control stuff? Does it produce the structure gel? It can't. It couldn't have come from the WAU. Was it Carthage? Did Carthage supply the gel? How exactly is it making things bend to its will? It's like machines in particular. It's reprogramming them. Nano machines? Jesus! I don't like. No shit. Oh, okay. I can play Ring Around the Rosie with it until this thing is ready. It's really making me wait a long time. Ah, here's the beeping. Okay, I have only five seconds I have to survive this. Oh, it's going really nuts now. After it's done, I'm out. Wait, what? Reset timed out. Oh, it was a timer for it to time out. I had to come back here and do maintenance on it while being stalked by this thing. Oh, fuck. This is intense. But at the same time, I'm really curious about this gel. That's, yeah, that's gotta be what it is, right? It's full of nano machines or something. Like, if it's a paste, a thick paste that's actually just comprised of millions or billions of nano machines, that would be the coolest. It would make a lot of sense to me, too. Alright, this thing's gonna hum to life. Uh. It says the router is active, so do I have to do anything else, or can I just kind of put my Nikes on and get the fuck up out of here? Yeah, I'm gonna go with the I'm gonna go with the ladder there. I'm just gonna book it. I'm just gonna get out of here. This nest of unpleasantness. Uh, and you don't have arms, so you won't be opening that up. Now, let's deal with the other deeply unpleasant room. You know what? Your situation, not so great, but... You see, the thing is, I saw red lighting and went by, like, horror logic and went, No, this has got to be the spooky room. But actually, it's just a, a perfectly okay little server room. Fuck, man. That, that sequence was, like, the most intense thing in the whole game so far. That was way more intense than getting chased by Alma the Disco Head through the, uh, the labyrinth. 
How exactly would that thing have killed me? Good job, Simon. This better have worked. I'm what? Down there again. I just heard it really clearly, like it's nearby. Ah, oh, God. I don't like this. Anyway, that's going to do it for now. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take it easy. Have a good one.